The VO camera has options for a 12 foot and 23 foot tripod. This video shows them side by side. So we have had people ask us the difference between the 12 foot and the 23 foot tripod. So the one on the right is the 12 foot tripod. Uh, we just got the one on the left, the 23 foot one in the box. So I'll go ahead and take it out of the box and show you, how much, show you the difference in size. So here they are side by side now that they're out of the box. It's out of the box and you can see the height of it isn't that much different. You can see that um, the one on the left, the taller tripod, has more of the risers that you can put up. But when it collapses down, the total height isn't a huge difference. The weight is different. It's heavier. The one, the taller one is obviously heavier. It's a little bit harder to carry around. The one on the right, uh, you can kind of carry in one, one hand and the camera case in the other. The one on the left, um, you probably need um, two hands to carry the one on the left or maybe throw it over your shoulder. So it's a little bit, a little bit bigger, bigger and bulkier, but it does go quite a bit higher. So here's a more of a zoomed in view. You can see that the base of the, the one on the right is actually goes up a lot um, higher. The one on the left, um, these come out and go wider, so it has a wider base to it. But this has a, the, 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 the bottom part of the, the one on the right is, is just taller. So these are, the, these are the knobs that you turn to release the different risers. So as you can see, the one on the right only has the first and the second. That gets you up 12 feet. So the one on the left, um, depending on how high you want to go, you you know you can extend all of these to the maximum height, or you can put them up each individually as much as you need to get to the height that you want. And when you put this taller one up, pretty high, um, you're definitely going to want some. They do send you a wind kit that you can use. It's kind of hard if you're playing on turf because it goes anchors into the ground. Now even this one on the right here, when you are uh, playing in really windy conditions and you have it up. You want to put a sandbag on the bottom because we've seen some of those go over in really high winds. Or the one on the left, you, you definitely want a sandbag if you're going to get it, be get, putting it pretty high. So the taller tripod does come with a sandbag that's shown there. That's the one that comes ships with the, the tripod. I would recommend getting sandbags even for the shorter tripod, like I mentioned earlier, to use in uh, windy weather. So you can see the, that set of four there we got off Amazon, I think, for like $25. So those are more generic brand. The one on the left is a, a higher quality one that comes with um, with the tripod. So now we'll go ahead and fill those up. So we just picked up a bag of pea gravel from Home Depot. And we're going to use that to fill up these um, the smaller sandbags for the lower tripod. And then also we'll, we'll fill up the, uh, the, the larger sandbag for the taller tripod. Actually got two bags of these. I'm not sure how much, just in case. Um, we didn't really know exactly how much we needed. So we'll go ahead and see how much fits into these sandbags. And we'll get these tripods weighted down. It's the spring right now, and it's very windy. We've been some, to some pretty severe um, games this weekend. We had, a, a, we had a, the lower tripod weighed down with probably about a 40-pound 40, 40 sa uh, sandbag that we borrowed from some of the goals. And it was, it was very severe wind, so we were glad we had it weighted down. If we hadn't, it, it would have gone over. Um, so we just happened to be lucky that those were on the field. But I'm going to fill this up um, here so we have them we go to make sure we have them in the car if we need them. So this comes with a, a zipper pocket and it, um, kind of a lined pouch. So we're just going to pour pour the gravel um, right into the pocket. It has um, one on both sides. So we'll go ahead and fill this one up. So we filled one of the little sandbags up on both sides with the gravel. Looks like it weighs about 14 pounds. Um, so if you get four of those. Um, we could probably fit a little bit more on each side, but um, we didn't want to over overstuff it and damage the bag. So one of the things about this smaller sandbag is it has a zipper. We noticed as we were filling it up, the quality of the zipper isn't fantastic. Um, I guess if you're not opening and closing it a lot, um, that's not a big deal. But so for the cheaper price, but definitely the, the um, you know the zipper isn't the great quality. Uh, the Manfrotto one that comes with the um, with the taller taller tripod actually doesn't have a zipper it actually has doesn't have a zipper let's see here let's see it's not cooperating you can see 
it actually has Velcro. So as opposed to having a zipper here for the for the side bags, um, it has Velcro. So that's the, one of the differences between the, the bigger one that comes with the Manfrotto and this the ones that we got on, on Amazon. So as you can see here, the Manfrotto one uh, has a Velcro. It has like a double Velcro, one Velcro to seal here, and then another uh, Velcro flap. So it's almost got like a double a double system. And we're just and it also has the uh, the lined interior. So we're just filling it up with the the P gravel as well. So we filled the bigger bag up. It was like it came to about 29 pounds with the gravel. One thing we didn't think about was that gravel was a little wet. So um, it does, when your hands get all dirty, it does get the, the bag a little dirty when you're filling it up. Maybe we should have used sand, but um, we'll just give this a try, see how it turns out. So the bigger one's about 29 pounds, 30 pounds. So one thing we learned as we started filling these up is it's a good idea to get like a cup or something, pour it in there instead of using your hands. Because as we showed, it can get you kind of messy. You kind of shake that down to get it to where it's full, but it's not too full. If you overfill it and you try to zip it, I think you'll break the zipper. So we got two small ones and the big one. Um, we pretty much used up two two bags of the uh, of the gravel to fill those up. So we still have one more left that's not filled. So we'll give these a shot and uh, see how they turn out. So here are the sandbags on the base of the 12 foot tripod. Ideally, you'd want to have, um, you know, a, a sandbag on each one of those, kind of out towards the edge to, to maybe keep it more stable. But if you don't want to carry all three of them, what you could do is here, like if you have a, one like this, you could put part of it on this leg and part of it on that leg. Um, the most important thing is to use at least, you know, two of them, maybe three if you have, if you don't mind carrying them, and that way uh, weighs down the tripod so when the wind blows, your tripod doesn't go over and break your camera. 